Do you ever sit in this screen and be like, wow, I have an absolute god to you. Why am I getting my cheeks clapped and why can I not hit the dang ball? Well, in this video, I will be describing the three things that you might just be doing wrong. And if you follow these three things or you do whatever you got to do, you do your own things, you actually might start hitting. Maybe. So in this video, these are the three tips that you got to do to improve your hitting. Number two is going to be the most important tip after all. So I should have actually made it the third tip, but it doesn't matter. Let's get into the First video. thing that we're going to be talking about is, you know, the PCI and the anchors. So for my anchors, I obviously have it on. I have the dots on just in case if there's like Bob Gibson on the mound and I have to go up to the upper corner to get a ball, I could just put my PCI there and just basically guess that he's going to throw it there. If he throws a slider and then a sinker on the outside, I expect a, a fastball to be coming in in the zone either in the middle or up top so that's I, I do use PCI anchor dots so that's what I use now for the PCI center I have none inner I have the wedge outer I have none my color is green you can put your color at whatever and my transparency it's 50% now the reason why I don't have a center is because if I were to put the bat or the diamonds and you can't really see and you put your transparency up to 100%, well, I, actually, let me let me show you. All right, so we're in practice mode right now, and as you can tell, I have the, the center PCI and the wedge on the, not the outer, but the inner. Okay, Judge, you don't, you don't gotta do me like that, bro. I'm trying to explain something. But as you can tell, if you watch the pitcher, watch his arm, you see the ball coming in, and you can't really see it because the center, the PCI center is like, basically in the way of his arm action so if you go over here and then you go none and then i don't know i mean I, you can even keep it at 100 percent because ready to watch now you can watch the arm you can see where the ball is going to go obviously that was a pitch on the inside this is just an example but yeah so that's why i have my pci on my pci center on none Tip number two, it's practice, practice, practice. You always want to be practicing. The way that I practice is I pick a pitcher, as in Wheeler or Shohei Otani, who has a higher up fastball and a higher up sinker. Now, what you want to do with your sliders is you want to put the sliders, the slider slider down, all the way down, the curveball down, the circle change up down. Come over here, put your sinker all the way up and your fastball all the way up. Now, what I like to do is normally I'll put the fastball down and I'll put the sinker all the way up and I'll do only inside pitches. So what that does, and normally I, I do this on, on Legend, not All-Star, because when you go into an All-Star game, it just, it, for me, it helps me more. I think we're still on All-Star. So let's, uh, let's change that. No, it's on Legend, okay. I guess Judge just has, oh, there we go. So as you can tell, the PCI is still small. And what I'll do is I'll just practice trying to get my timing down, trying to get my swing mechanic down, where I should be placing my PCI and stuff. And I know a lot of people have a hard time hitting sinkers on the inside and fastballs on the inside or fastballs up. So that's why also the PCI comes in handy so that when you're in a real game and someone's jamming um, sinkers like on the inside or like that's a good example fastballs up and in I mean you could just boop like that and then hit it if he goes there again but that's only if he's spamming and or jamming the fastball and or sinker on the inside then what I like to do is I can go or I'd like to go uh, where is it options no oh, hello I'll go to batting against whatever and then I'll put the slider all the way up the curveball all the way up and the circle change up up <clears throat> And I'll turn the fastball and the sinkers down, and then, you know, I'll do this, put it like a backwards L, just because, me personally, I suck with sliders, curveballs, and circle change ups in the dirt, especially on sliders on the outside of the plate, I, can, I can't hit to save my life. So then what I'll do is I'll come in here, and I'll just, you know, start hitting and doing all that stuff, and, you know, he's only thrown three pitches, which is just this which is the slider the circle change up in the curveball i just woke up i apologize in advance 
So that is tip number two. So now tip number three is basically everything put together. You want to change your PCI to where you're comfortable and you can see the pitcher throw and his arm action and where the ball is going to go. You want to go into practice mode and you want to practice, practice, practice. And then what I like to do is I like to come in here, go on, go online, either go into battle royale or events because they're on all star most of the time. And then after I play like one, two, three games of those, I'll go into ranked, whether I'm on all star hall of fame or legend nine out of 10 times I'm on hall of fame, which I'm not bragging, but I'm just saying you can either do solo, which would be on hall of fame. If you are up there, which I believe is like 700 and more 670 right now, because I just haven't been playing good. Or you can go into 2v2, which gives you someone else, which I don't recommend at all. But it's easier to, to grind the program. Anyways, you can go into 2v2 and you can get your rating up, grind the program, and practice that way being an all-star. And that's my recommendation mm -hmm. is to go into online modes after you do the first. The first and second tip, go into event or battle royale, grind those out, get those cards. You'll also be practicing hitting with your new PCI. And another big, big tip for hitting is just be patient. Never swing at the first pitch. You gotta remember that you can never swing at the first pitch because if you swing at the first pitch, then if it's a strike and you miss it and it's a fastball and he figures out that you're late on a fastball, it's all about timing. You wanna time up the first pitch, don't swing at it, wait until it comes to you. Oh, it's a 99 mile per hour fastball. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta swing earlier. Or, okay, he's thrown a lot of change ups and sliders. I gotta wait on him. But those are my three tips for you guys. Hopefully it helps you. And if it does, hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you Tuesday with two more videos. I'll be posting two videos every day. Unfortunately, I won't be posting a video tomorrow, obviously, because it's Memorial Day. And I just don't want to post a video. But I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, hit that like button and subscribe. And see you guys Tuesday. Kapow!